All right, two full days at work. Are you ready for the big reveal of Lisa's soaking tub, solar panels, filter pump, everything? Ta-da! It's perfect. I can almost <laughs> rub my legs in it even. <laughs> this is really very relaxing. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. We're still working on our pool. Obviously, this is not my soaker pool, but this bucket was out here and we decided to put some water in it and have a pool ready today to show you. There's no water in that. <laughs> You're not getting it on you. No. There is too water. All right. Just not a whole lot. Let's continue on. Okay. That was a good joke. That was Lisa's idea. Okay, what I've done on Lisa's soaking pool project today is I cut a hole down here. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see, am I too close to plug in the pump? And the hole there, I'll put some kind of junction box in. And plugged it in here. So we've got power coming out. Reading 12.9 volts. I have it unplugged. I don't have the solar plugged in right now, as you can see. All right, that's all new. That's all I've done new over here. Okay, so this is actually the pool that Bill bought for me. It is eight foot round. It's an in-tex above ground pool, obviously. And it is about two and a half feet deep. So it is gonna be a really cool soaker, little soaker tub for me. And now I gotta fill it up with air. Let's go. Okay, so you just fill up, fill up the upper ring with air. And then the upper ring actually floats as you uh, put water in it. And the floating of the upper ring is what holds the sides up of this type of pool. All right, the next step is to start adding some water. You can't make it too deep yet because you have to hook up the plumbing for the uh, filter pump. And we can see that our yard is not completely level. So the pool is gonna lean towards our main house just a little bit. But as, as water's going in it, you need to stretch out the bottom because the pool is about to be too heavy to ever move it again. <laughs> Another good thing about this pool is I'm in it. a unit of water on your water bill is, I believe, 720 gallons of water. So this is just under that. So this is, um, I believe, right around 700 gallons. So this, if you're uh, depending on your water usage, um, at our rate, I know it's probably two dollars worth of actual water, maybe even less than that. Yep. Well, we were having so much fun putting this together that we forgot to film, but. We've been hooking up the plumbing. These are the two, uh, these are the returns to the pump. Oh, I'm sorry, from the pump to the pool, that's the one return. And th this, these two come out of the pool to the pump. So we're gonna hook up the pump. Next. Do you have to bring my knife? <laughs> I got it on my tool belt. <laughs> Alright. Let's let's hook up the pump. Okay. This is the return. Yeah. And that's an inlet and an outlet. No, that's the inlet. That's an inlet. Those sure. are outlets. Yeah. That's what a return means. <laughs> yeah, that's the return of the water right there. Oh, I get it. And those are the outlets right there. Okay, I'll plug it. Are you ready? So we just told them. That's right. <laughs> I need to sound more smart about it though. <laughs> We're not smart about it. We just do it. So I have all the plumbing hooked up and we're just waiting for the pool to fill. We're watching the pool fill. What do you got in your hand? Right here, this is a three-way test kit. It tests the pH, chlorine, and bromine levels. 
of yeah. my cool. So chlorine is all I'm going to use in pH, right? Yeah. And we're just going to put a tablet in your floater right here. Yeah. And my floater, it also has a thermometer and it is reading about 68 in here. 66, 68. I guess we should wait to finish it. But you want to go in and make some dinner while we're just, because we're just yeah. waiting for this thing to fill. Yeah, because I'm getting hungry. Okay, we'll be back after we eat and this is filled up. Okay, everybody, I've been with this woman, Lisa, here for uh, 10 years now. Plus. And this is a first, 10 years plus. Mm -hmm. She drinks Do you know? iced tea and milk together. It's delicious. Now, Laverne. Laverne and Shirley drunk, drank milk and Pepsi, but that is absolutely disgusting. Uh, if my brother is watching this video, he will say otherwise because he loves it too. I gotta see you take a good drink like you're not kidding. Oh my gosh. The camera needs to focus on you. She's drinking it, folks. Okay, inverter's on. We're plugged in. We're going to do initial test of starting up the pump. Let's go do it. So the upper button on the pump there, yeah. This one? Yeah. Push it. And it came on. And look, it's taking water's the rest moving. of the air. Yeah, water's moving. Oh, it's really quiet, too. No, I like it. The water is 67 degrees. That's pretty cold. Good job, honey. All right, and that's what it looks like with its cover on it. Pretty cool. We'll have to find one of those bubble solar covers to put under there during the day and let it heat up for you. Yeah. 